welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. I feel like I'm kind of sitting in the dark, but I'm sorry. I'm actually in the car because today is moving day. It has finally happened. We are moving into the guest house. Um, at least we're starting to move our stuff in today. There's still a really big punch list that needs to be done, but at this point we don't care. We're just happy to be able to go back, move back onto our property, be out of the RV. So we are starting that today. So I thought I would take you guys along on that little <laughs> journey. It's gonna be probably a very long and tiring day but it is a day that we have been looking forward to. So if you are interested in seeing an empty house tour, stick around. Here it is. I cannot believe that it is finally done. It took like a year and a half of planning and four or five months of building. The building actually took less time than the planning, um, but you could probably tell that it's really, really muddy. So we're having the final grading done next week. Um, and then they'll plant some grass seed and stuff or throw down some grass seed. Uh, we also don't have the barn doors. We just have the garage door. Um, those are getting made right now. Again, we just kind of expedited everything so that we could get in the place. So not everything is done, um, but our builder worked really hard so that we could get in this weekend. So this is the side entry coming into the garage. This is the door that leads up to the apartment. It's really, really echoey in here. I'm gonna open up the garage door, I think. Um, if I can figure out how to do that. Okay, I'm turning the light on. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Push the button. So the cleaners were here yesterday, but they did not get the garage area done. They spent all of their time upstairs, which I'm grateful for. And then we had a really terrible storm and lost power, so they had to quit for the day. But I will show you kind of where we're putting everything. Um, so my washer and dryer is gonna get hooked up today, yay! So on this wall right here, we're doing our a movie theater, so we're gonna have a screen that comes down. We bought some leather furniture off of Facebook Marketplace. I have a really funny story about that. And then back here against this wall is where my husband's putting his gym again. We haven't had a home gym since we moved up here. And we do really miss that because there's no place to work out in our small town. We actually don't have a gym. You have to drive like quite a ways to get to the gym. So it'll be nice to be able to work out at home. And then he's gonna do, he's making a table that he's gonna put right here kind of alongside the movie theater area where he can work but there'll also be some stools underneath it so if we have company and we want to watch a movie there's extra seating over here too and then this area is where we are setting up a place for my brother-in-law and his wife who are moving up um, to be on our property i've mentioned that in previous videos but they're coming up this october i think um, but he makes beer and mead so we're going to set up a place for him to do that over here and we will also be setting up a place for ourselves so that we can make some wine once we plant the grapevines, which we are now working on getting the soil prepared so we can do that. But that's gonna definitely be a future project. But for now, oops, I don't know why it's not focusing. For now, he gets this area for his stuff. This is where the washer and dryer will go. This is what I have to clean right now because I've got a ton of laundry in the car and I need my husband to be able to hook up the washer and dryer. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this. Um, and then we also have, I believe a barn door, a sliding door going here to cover the washer and dryer. And then this is the bathroom, which is not done. The sink has not been installed yet. Um, but this is what it's looking like so far. We went with the same really rich dark color. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do in here. I would love to do some like beadboard down here, but stained like a, a nice walnut color or something all the way around. And then, I don't know, maybe some shelves up here and some artwork. We'll see, I can't really be worrying about this bathroom right now. <laughs> anyway, that is the tour of the downstairs. I'm gonna clean up the um, laundry area and then I will show you a tour of the upstairs.
right, so this is what you see when you open up the door. Have a nice little light at the bottom of the stairs. That looks a lot steeper than they actually are. Actually, it is a pretty steep staircase. And then once you get up here, we have this little railing, kind of give you an overview of what the apartment looks like. Let's see if it'll focus. <laughs> Having some trouble with my camera today, getting it to focus. There's the kitchen area, dining area, a small living area. We went with dark trim just to give it a little bit of contrast in here. Walking in here, this is the bathroom. And the giant shower. I cannot wait to take a shower in there after showering in the RV for the last four months. And then we also put in a pretty big closet since we knew that we would be living here for a couple months until the house is done. And then we have a pocket door that leads into the bedroom. And we did the trim in here as well and also trimmed out the windows and the baseboards. And then you can go back out into the apartment from the bedroom. Here is the kitchen. We kept it pretty simple. We went with quartz countertops. These, this was all included in the package that we bought from our builder. And then just a nice subway tile. I really like it though because it looks handmade even though it's not. And then we also went with green cabinets, which I'm really happy. We added a little extra splash of color in here. This is Sherwin-Williams Rosemary, and it looks really nice. And then we did the apron front sink. Everything is not done. The stove is getting delivered today. Actually, Robert was with Jake um, with the movers right now, so they're picking up the rest of the stuff that they'll bring over. All the hardware hasn't been put on yet. Um, I've got some poles that need to be put on to the drawers. The bathroom hardware hasn't been put on yet either, so hopefully that will get done soon. But that is pretty much. We also added this really beautiful beam and this basket chandelier that was actually in our house in Florida. It, we found it in a little boutique it's from Bali. It was just a basket and we had our electrician turn it into a chandelier for us. It's the only light fixture we brought from our Florida house because it's really special to us. And it's huge, it's like four feet tall. So it looks kind of small I think hanging up there but it's actually really, really big and nice. So that's the overview of the apartment. We also have a little walkout deck. mountain view that we have from up here which is really pretty and the mess of our house which is still undergoing massive renovations right now. The movers just left, so now the fun begins. We get to unpack everything. Um, we're not actually gonna be sleeping here for the next couple of days because we got our CO, but it was kind of a preliminary one. They wanna come back and look at a couple more things before they actually give us um, 
our final um, certificate of occupancy. So hopefully that will be Monday, that's what we're hoping, but it could be Tuesday. Um, they're gonna try to get here as soon as possible and do that for us, and then we will be able to move in. But until then, I at least do get to unpack the kitchen um, and put everything away and figure out where I'm gonna keep everything. So I'm really tired, it's already been a long day, but I am going to try to get as much done as I can.